I chose Westcon because it allows me to study meteorology, which I've always dreamed of, and we have a strong program here, we're AMS certified, so I get to do all the hardcore math and science that I've always wanted to do. I want to go to graduate school and ultimately become a hurricane researcher. The cool thing is you can walk into that school as a freshman, take the basic meteorology courses and build yourself up from going into school for meteorology for something to saying TV is where I want to go or maybe saying research is where I want to go. So that is one of the large benefits to going to a school like Westcon or going to Westcon specifically. You have the ability to get into different aspects of meteorology. From a very young age I wanted to be a meteorologist and when it came time to apply for schools my mom and I we cleared out the dining room table, we put a map on it and we kind of drew a circle of about seven hours away from where I grew up and Westcon was right at that seven hour mark. That was probably the furthest away that I wanted to go and I started to apply to schools, Penn State, Ohio University, places closer and a lot bigger than Westcon, but I wanted to relate to my professors and be, be someone that they trusted and that they could help along the way. And that's what I found here, is I found a community that I was used to, and uh, as soon as I arrived on campus, I knew that it was gonna be a fit for me. Class sizes are actually relatively small, which is really, really good. It gives you the ability to have a lot of one-on-one -on -one experience with each one of your professors. When you have problems, when you have questions, when things don't make sense, and in meteorology sometimes that happens, you can go to them and say, hey, what does this equation mean? And you'll have the ability to be able to speak with them. And it's not just come back during my office hours on Thursday at between two and three o'clock. It's, yeah, let's sit down and try and analyze this together and figure out the answers to this. There is a lot of hard work. A lot of determination has to go along with that hard work. So even on the toughest of chapters in your life when it comes to studies, or even if for me that green wall was tough to learn, you have to stay positive, stay focused, and commit the time to be the winner and stick with it and you'll get through it. Overall, because of that smaller student to teacher ratio as well, and we kind of become a really good team. Um, so some of the positives out of that are you work together really well when it comes down to those core classes that are really tough. So all your physics, your maths, uh, those calculuses that I'm trying to forget, but they stay in there. We all helped each other out through the years, which really kept us going. Um, and it's not just the schoolwork as well, uh, it kind of goes outside the classroom. So uh, some of my best friends that I still talk to, and I also met my wife here as well. Any internship you can do is, is, is like real world experience. So they are very, very important to do. I will be going to Norman, Oklahoma to intern at the National Weather Center. I get to study uh, precipitation types and variability and work with some of the best in the business. I did three internships, one at NBC in Washington DC, one at the Fox affiliate in Baltimore, and one at WTNH in New Haven. This summer I'm going to begin and end my summer interning at WTNH News 8, and that's really due to the connections that our school has. Well I hope to continue this internship program with WTNH as long as I work here. I have worked here over 15 years and I've always had a connection to Westcon. Gary Lessor, who is still there, I'm still in touch with him, who is an advocate of the Westcon Meteorology Program. I try to pass that on and help other people who may be going to Westcon for someone looking for an internship. Having Westcon interns in here is uh, just fantastic. I've had many of them through the years uh, coming through, uh, and uh, uh, the ones we had this year were just phenomenal prior interns that have been involved here at WTNH who are doing great things. Some of them are storm chasers in the Midwest. Uh, some are working on computer modeling. Uh, there's just a vast array of the future of the field based on the people that have come through here in an internship. Dr. Owino, Gary Lesser, uh, Professor Eisenson, I, Dr. Boyle and I did our senior research project together. Um, Dr. Chance taught me physics, um, math. All of these professors along the way, um, Dr. Secundo in chemistry, they teach you things that you'll never forget. And I'm eternally grateful for what they've taught me because I wouldn't be where I am without some of their leadership without their knowledge that they've passed on to me. Um, specifically, I would say Professor Eisenson. He was my advisor as a 
broadcast meteorologist. He gave me the pushes I needed in different directions. When I was a very young meteorologist, he gave me the guidance to, to keep at it, to change the way I was doing things. Uh, and, and his fingerprints are on my tape at all times. I find a lot of people who have come through here still are in touch one way or another. Staying in touch with people is key. It really is. Some of the networking through the opportunities that uh, we had here between people that know people, certain professors, and also uh, some of the, the conferences that we go to as well. You can go out and you learn how to network and meet people. Uh, one of those connections fired up for me and I was able to get a position out all the way in Madison, Wisconsin, uh, which I have never been there before. I didn't know what to expect. But in the interview process, come to find out that eventually my, my boss at the time was actually a graduate of WestCon uh, years and years ago in the meteorology program. My advice to any other student would be to make opportunities for yourself. Um, you really, you need to make things happen. You create your own opportunities. If you're ambitious, you will get to where you want to go. My love for broadcasting actually began at WestCon where it wasn't until my senior year that I knew TV would be what I ended up eventually getting into. Um, and I remember Professor Eisenson, one of the professors at, this, at the school, saying, we're gonna put you guys in front of the green screen, let's do this. And I took the first course that involved doing broadcasting in addition to the meteorology. And I stood in front of a green screen and I told the weather and I remember walking away saying, that wasn't so hard, I feel like that's something that I could do. And I remember him saying that same day, this is what you will do for the rest of your career, I can guarantee it. And sure enough, here I am today. 